What to do, ladies and gentlemen, is the vulgar one, the vulgar son, the vulgar desperado. You already know the gentleman bastard with him. We're going to talk to you today about the old new Black Panther, Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda <laughs> forever! <laughs> Wakanda! <laughs> and, you know, it's, I guess you can call us a reaction. We ain't playing the trailer. I'll probably throw some clips in here just for shits and giggles, but... We're just going to tell you why we honestly think it sucks from the two opinion of two black dudes. And yeah. I guess first and foremost, look, just because we black, it don't really mean shit. We don't speak on behalf of the black peoples, no. but we do hold some weight because we're black. So, you know, that's yeah, <laughs> it's like I want some representation and I'm not feeling it right now. Yeah. Not like I, I, this Black Panther, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really like she Panther. You know what I'm saying? Panthera. Panthera <laughs> like, <the max. laughs> you know, like, I, I mean, I don't even know where to begin in this trailer. I, I, the I think. The song started off with what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no woman cried. Like, no woman, no it's, cry. it's definitely like a Black Panther movie, but I'm definitely sensing the girl power. Like, nigga, there's a fucking water birth in this trailer yeah. for this movie. Right. You know, so like. We're definitely getting very strong female vibes here, and I'm just trying to see some action. Black Panther, the, the the movie was fucking awesome with it. Like the action was like non nonstop, but it did stop when it needed. And it was how are you gonna capture that again if everything is gonna just be so? What are y'all doing? Yeah, <laughs> I, and, I, and I mean like. I don't know, like, let, let's let start where, where I don't even know, where this movie, like, canonically takes place. Now, Marvel's in Phase 4, right? Definitely, but, like, yeah. is this movie taking place in the post-Thanos world, or is this a pre-Snap movie, right? Because... He did disappear in the Snap. He did disappear, but I don't know what happened to the rest of Wakanda during that. Exactly. So, this could be during that time, and that makes sense, right? Yeah. You know, it, it would work if you're gonna do it then. All right, perfect. Like, because I guess we should fit. point out because obviously we didn't point out the obvious thing. Chasman Bowman, uh, Bozeman, R.I.P. has passed away, which is you know very unfortunate. And from looking at this trailer, it doesn't look like they replaced the the character. No, they just it looks like they killed off T'Challa. Yeah, like T'Challa is also dead along with Chadwick, and it's just. Uh, I'm not even trying to make it sound like dirty or nothing, but we could have got somebody to play a new T'Challa. Like, we didn't have to make this movie right now. We didn't have to make this anytime yeah. soon, but you could have got somebody to actually play him. Like, you, yeah, because I think killing off T'Challa uh, definitely does injustice to your social justice movement of trying to show black representation because you're not showing good black men. You're showing, oh, well, a black woman can take your spot. And that's a little trash, let's be real. But not only that, like, T'Challa's, like, alive and well probably in these comic books. He's pretty much, like, a pretty big character in the yeah. Marvel world. So kind of, like, going to the liberties right. of giving him one movie, then killing yeah. him off, I don't think that's a wise move. It's kind of that bullet. It's just, like, that Marvel has too much, too much story to be able to work with. And I know, like, going through trailer-wise, we have seen, especially in comics, how they have had his sister become uh, Black Panther for a time. Yeah, now, which was quite recent in yeah. history, comic history. And it's just like, okay, cool, that does work, especially post-snap, you know? Like, all of it's all messed up and everything. T'Challa was gone in that snap, so yeah, she picked up the mantle. That's perfect. But if this is going to be after everything was reset, refixed, re just back to how it was supposed to be, yeah, just no Yeah, he's still Iron gone. Man, it's like, yeah, we get he's gone, but that's the guy who playing him yeah not, like not, not trying to send any yeah bad just like well and i think that's the sad i think that was a bad move because yeah. there were people out there that were like no well we don't replace chasman we don't want a new one and you're like no 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 no, no. this is a character and as unfortunate as it is you kind of have to let like how many supermans have we had how many exactly. batmans have we have like i and <laughs> i get it. it if we want to change don't want to worry about changing a character who died albus dumbledore died right you Come know on. now third movie was his last technical movie and look Fourth one, and we look a new one. i get it right you know like i can't imagine anyone else playing wolverine no. But eventually, it will have to come that we're going to need a new Wolverine yeah. if we want to do more movies. We could honestly just say, fuck this shit, because 
I think most of us are tired of these movies at this We've point, seen him. right? We, we know what he does, but, but it's just when it comes down to something like this, like guys, you gotta keep him going, and you can't, you can't just run from it. Yeah, and I think acting like in the yeah, he was iconic. He, you know, for some people, I mean, I'm not a big Black Panther fan, so I was more sad of the fact that this guy just passed away. Then it's like we losing a Black Panther. Yeah, like you can replace Black Panther, like you can't replace Chadwick Boseman, you know. Oh. So, so it's pretty sad. But at the same time, I think, you know, honoring his legacy would have been letting somebody else fill the shoes. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because you don't you don't stop what T'Challa, you don't stop T'Challa's adventures because the actor died. No, that that's like the, oh, the comic book, the creator, or the author decided that he didn't want to write this anymore. So there can't be any more Black Panther gods right. at all. Like, it's no, like, no, that's not how, how that shit works. How many different authors have there been? How many different artists have there been? Like, right, because you know what? <laughs> Here's something they fucked up on. Like, there's a point where, you know, T'Challa marries Storm. Yeah, and you're, they're really trying hard to get the X Men in there, and it's That's like you just, yeah, like, like you just you missed out on a really cool opportunity. And I'll be real, you know what I think they're gonna do, and God only knows because oh. again, there's a fucking water birth. Like they, they from this trailer, it looks like they're going with he's gonna have a kid. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're gonna have a kid, and if they if he has a kid, that's unfortunate because that solidifies. His, wait, did that chick actually have white hair in that trailer? I know they're all decked out in white, it, but I doubt it's Storm. I don't think it did, because all I saw was his sister, and she had the white face dots. Yeah, well, I don't know if that was his sister, that was, but that was... Because it's I know, not the main, that's it's all, that looks like, like a wedding. Yeah, because it wasn't his main school. I thought that it I was. Saw either. Like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, we'll, we'll have, have to look at it. Yeah. Her again, but, but regardless, you know, what I think is, you know... He might be having a kid with his lady. I doubt yeah. it's Storm. If it is Storm, that'd be kind of hilarious. But to you know, nowhere type but, of thing. Yeah, but I think it's kind of unfortunate that you know they're not they're not going. I mean, if they're not going the you know in the middle of the Thanos in game war type deal, you know, like if they're um, if they're not like doing the story in that realm. I I think they're fucking up because yeah. T'Challa deserves a little bit more respect for that. And then, you know, what's also kind of whack in this movie is like, you know, again with the girl power, you're using this movie as a jump off spot for a uh, stop ooh, jump off spot for Riri Wilson or whatever, or Williams yeah. or whatever, the fucking Ironheart chick. Yeah. Like you got me fucked Black up. Black Iron dude. Man, which is awesome. Black girl she's Iron Man. Like, she's yeah. like fourteen, Once bro. Once again with all of the, the more girl power. It's yeah, just, bro. Like, Black Iron Man, female. Black uh, Black Panther, female. Like, well, you couldn't introduce her and in fucking what's her new TV show that just happened? No, you know yeah, it's just too impossible. We can't do any of that yeah. type of stuff. So, so, like, I, I, so I'm kind of I'm very disappointed in the trailer. And I mean, Black Panther was cool. It's not in my top anything. None of these Marvel movies really are. So you know, take that with what you will. But yeah. you know, I do. I did watch this trailer, and honestly, I felt kind of bored outside of the. I think terrible storytelling decision they're going in like there wasn't much like action there was it was more sadness with a somber song yeah and it's like not... we're pulling a lot of that image of, of just him being dead into this trailer yeah exactly and, and then it's like i get it but what what is this movie about to be about right like you shouldn't have wrote if your movie if it is written around him just being dead and, like, you know, you coinciding Chadwick with T'Challa's death. Like, that's trash. That's yeah. not good storytelling. Not at all. Because looking, literally watching this trailer, most of the cut scenes or the action scenes is, like, wireworks. Yep. Like, you know, the, there's explosions are few. And it's, like, karate and some guns. And exactly. it's crying. And you're just like, nigga, can this not be what we want to have as black representation? Where is cool, action, fun, lighthearted, and maybe like deep thinking, but not deep emotional crap? Yeah. Like, it sucks that that man died, but you don't go, and I guess this movie's coming out in November, so it's not a summer blockbuster, but, and I guess November is a somber month, you yeah, know, but like... Chilly and cold and such, but it's just yeah. like, are we really trying to make it to where it's a whole movie that... This is going to be about his death in some way? Because how are these movies two, three hours? We're right. just going to keep dragging it out like, oh, yeah, this happened. T'Challa is gone. T'Challa and is I gone. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm wondering if they have footage of him yeah. already because I'm pretty sure he probably did some pre-filming. And so that's that's another guess, right? Maybe he'll, he'll, they'll have some, you know, movie with him in it. Then he, they kill his character. Yep. And then they go on from there. And... 
I would still disagree with that decision because okay. I can understand not wanting to get rid of the the final footage, but maybe you just gotta have somebody finish the film. Um, yeah. What was his name for Heath Ledger? Uh, Colin Farrell, um, Johnny Depp, and Jude Law yeah. all finished uh, the movie Doctor Parnassus. Imaginary the the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. Yep. They all finished the movie for him when he passed away. And granted, that movie, it made sense with the way that story kind of told, but I I mean, fuck, if you can make a movie based around, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, if you can make a movie based around the fact that, hey, the real actor died in real life, and now we're gonna, our plot's gonna kind of be shifted yeah. because of that, I think you can do some things to make that work. Paul Walker's brothers finished the movie for exactly. him. Exactly. You like, know, and just, some CG. And it was just perfect. Like, there, there are ways, especially ways around. To especially you knowing do everybody it. can deep fake like, the motherfucker yeah. now. <laughs> Come on now. You're damn Disney, aren't you? The fuck are you holding back for? Exactly. Like, you, you got all the technology you needed to do. You could have made it a 30 minute little thing of how T'Challa was going to be going through this and then end up dying. But I feel it's just going to be five minutes. Hey, we go this way. Wakanda. Boom. Dead. Yeah, right, so y'all, like, I think he will, like, die some in an he explosion. Get, he gets squished. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Some bullshit. He a mosquito now. Yeah, I, I don't think there'll be, it won't be a gruesome, it could be, like, he saved a bunch of people kind of type death, but it's not going to be, like, you know, he died in battle. Like, I don't think it's going to be like no. that. He's going to be dying, saving people. And, I mean, maybe they might even go, oh, he died. Well, no, they couldn't go cancer because they got all the best technology. So I don't know how this is going to do. But I'm pretty sure it'll be in saving people. Yeah. And, I mean, honestly, like I said, like, I, I just think, I think this is a weird kind of way to, and again, this is like the first teaser-ass trailer, but it does look like, you know, an example of, here's a movie of over, overt girl power, overt emotions, overt blackness I, don't know, like, I mean i mean not even like that i mean it's just the way the music was sounded all lion kingish and it's just all sad it's just kind of like all right guys i guess we're doing a whole negro spiritual movie <laughs> like that's it's, literally what that shit felt like i was like fuck man black like panther the first black panther it. was fun yeah. like you know it this is a lot of just like good feels vibes and just like the way that it moved you enjoyed it just yeah it wasn't something you were like okay this can be done now like yeah no, it's like i watched it and i'm like hey this trailer itself this felt like fun. labor yeah and this is what it does like i don't want to sit here and just watch them literally struggling to get through life to like depressed people are not good on screen right and i think <laughs> pretty sure y'all heard that but like uh but like yeah like I, I i don't think and i mean again you're not bringing down the summer so smart choice maybe people will really vibe with it well in november but i don't think um you know having a movie that's so heavily based off of real life events um and in a fantasy movie you know this isn't yeah. like based off a true story obviously you know i, I don't think that's going to be good for your franchise because I don't know where you can go from here. I don't want Black Panther 3 with Siri as Black Panther. And if you do give him a son, you're going to have to age him the fuck up before he can be Black Panther. Or use some Wakanda technology and make him 32 right away so right. he's good to go. Like, exactly. All right, let's get this. Like, so so that's that's my problem is like you're, you're kind of writing yourself into a hole. And, you know, some people may accept Siri as Black Panther. I won't because, again, not only is that a new concept where in the comic book she literally shot this nigga into space and then, like, more or less took the mantle. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what kind of dirty shit did you do to become him? Yeah. Like, like, is that what's going to happen in this, too? Exactly. Sorry, T'Challa. We like, just can't yeah. trust you. Like, what? I can't accept it because you're shitting on a character. Look, T'Challa, he ain't my boy. I don't give a fuck about Black Panther. Static shot gang in here. So, <laughs> like, you know, but, like, if, but I don't think you should disrespect on a character that's been around for so fucking long, yep. you know, in this way. Especially and after the first one. I mean, movie. even, even, one. it's weird because it's like you're disrespecting the character of T'Challa, which can be a good representation for a lot of young black kids and all that mm -hmm. jazz, right? But you're trying to be respectful to Chaz Mc, Chadwick Boseman at the same time, which I do respect and understand, but I don't think it was the best decision for your franchise. Nope. That's into you that. Did, <laughs> it just killed off a whole character you could have kept working with. And I get the respect, but 
financial wise, eh? yeah, <laughs> and storytelling wise too. Yeah. Like this is not going to be a good it, story. All of these stories are going to just like he has a lot. Like we said, Storm and him are supposed to be like fully together, ruling Wakanda, and it's like you got a mutant, one of the strongest mutants up there. And how's this going to happen now? Yeah, like Queen of Wakanda is not Storm. Okay, we'll see. All right. <laughs> But yeah, that's just two black dudes giving their thoughts on some shit that... I feel shafted. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll be real. You know, the mainstream media is going to be telling you this is great and amazing. And honestly, most of Marvel nowadays is trash. And this is us giving us our real opinion on it before they start telling you that everybody's going to love it just because you're black. It's like, hey, man, this didn't look that tight. Not me. It didn't even look that interesting. Like, you know, take away the sadness and everything else. This looked very boring. Yeah, it did. Like, boring and not even colorful. Like Yeah, just somber. The last one had all those nice colors, shiny, everything thing this one is just dark greens and oranges yeah oh and then yeah neymar too like we didn't even get fucking neymar bro nah. who gives a fuck about neymar I get, like i think if you have black panther in there you got the wakandans versus whatever atlanteans he is you know going to, that'd be tight but honestly i don't give a shit nope it could be a cool mini ass war especially with that technology and the water being involved but hey I could pass. DC already did it. Yeah, more or less, right? <laughs> That's the facts. But all right, y'all. We're going to wrap this one up. Uh, please like and subscribe. You know what it is. Jabber Jaws, Walker Desperado. Gentlemen, bastard. Peace. I'll see you.